I think that uh, there's signs now of normalization between India and Pakistan, which I've never seen in the past. Of course, this could be ephemeral. But uh, leave aside the Indian agreement with the Afghans. The Pakistani agreement to have a trade agreement with India is, a, I think, a momentous event. And the fact that it was approved by the army, is, it makes it triply significant. The question is whether it's too late or not to sense rescue Pakistan from itself in the future. And that's what our book, we're going to launch that book a month from now here. That's what that book is about. Um, this would also have the re effect of re a normalization between India and Pakistan. It would have the effect of reducing China's influence in South Asia. And I had a conversation with Jaswant uh, uh, when I was in India last. He said one of the major historical transformations that have happened in, since the end of, since partition, uh, end of World War II, is that China has become a major factor in South Asia. From an Indian geostrategic point of view, that's not a good thing. In a sense, India doesn't control or dominate its own region because the, China, the Pakistanis have invited them in. So I think a normalization between India and Pakistan would address China's increasing role, not necessarily nefarious role in, in South Asia, but increasing role in South Asia. Um, what are the spoilers? I think revenge on the part of the Pakistanis, um, Indian desire to punish Pakistan for, for being Pakistan, for bad behavior. Uh, the, the, and I, I think that the relationship is, 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 is vulnerable to any terror group, even in, even in India, let alone Pakistan, that wants to, dis, dis, to break up normalization. I'm pretty sure that that's what Mumbai was all about. Some Pakistani group, maybe the ISI, maybe not the ISI, wanted to break up normalization that was taking. So I, as soon as they get close to normalization, I think you can see more terror attacks. Uh, instigated primarily possibly by Pakistan, but perhaps even by Indians who are unhappy with normalization with Pakistan. Um, is India capable of managing this, this transformation within its region and conducting a global diplomacy? Uh, barely. And when we look at the figures and facts about Indian diplomacy and di diplomatic, diplomatic services, let alone military modernization, they're still learning. And here, I think, is where they're, they're, they could be, learn a lot from other countries, not just the U.S., but a number of countries, how a, a developing emerging country modernizes its bureaucracy and the way it organizes itself to, de to deal with, with the rest of the world. 